So these are the 10 things you can do to boost your business if it's slow and to get things going. Just 10 ideas I wanna kinda of put in your head as to things you should be thinking about in 2023 to get things started. As usual, as always, I wanna roll this graphic because I didn't have a chance to roll this new graphic much. So anyway, um, real quick, I wanna kinda of go over um, 10 things you should be, or 10 ideas to help you kickstart your company in 2023. And some of these things you already know, right? If you are if you are a, a gold member, which you are, you already know. You already know what these things are, a lot of these things are. But I wanna just kinda lay them out just so we can refresh and say, okay, maybe I ain't think about number three or number four. One, of course, is the one I triple, quadruple, drop kick you guys in the throat every every freaking day and it's about determining your niche and specializing in that type of content that is the most if you have not done that don't even go to the next steps if you have not done that don't ask me where the clients at don't ask me how to grow your business don't ask me how to get more people on your website don't ask me how to make more money don't ask me should i upgrade to this camera to, I, it doesn't matter none of that matters if you don't understand who your business is for, period. And if you're not disciplined enough to lock down your niche, you are where you deserve to be. And that's lost in space. You That's number one. If that does not take place, you cannot move forward on any aspect of business. So that's number one. Number two, right? You need to build a professional website that's well-designed, to showcase your ability to solve a problem, not take pretty pictures, to solve a problem. If I get two content creators side by side and one got nothing but pictures and the other got nothing but text explaining to their ideal client how they can solve their problems, that guy with text is gonna beat the video guy or picture guy all day. Or if you do if you do a 90-10 split, 90% 90 text, 10% pictures compared to 90% pictures, 10% text, the guy who got the most text will win every time because clients in this industry, they need, they, they want to solve a problem. They have a camera in their pocket that can take pictures. They cannot solve their own problem using that content, using content. They don't understand it. They don't, they don't understand how it works. Um, number three is network with, with others in your industry. When we go back to picking a niche again, if my niche is corporate events, I know who I need to network with to make money. Corporate event planners, the person at the company that book all the Christmas parties, venues. I can think of five people I need to get in contact with, build a relationship with, send a gift back basket to, talk to, chop it up with, to know where my clients are. You can't do that if you're just like, oh, I just, I take pictures for everybody. Well, where do you start? I don't know. So understand your niche, have a website to prove that you can solve the problem and then network with people within your niche. Those are things that you should be doing. If you can't think of people to network with, you have not niched down enough. Number four is offer promotions and discounts. People sleep on this, right? I don't care if you have to inflate the price just to offer a discount to bring it down to what you want to sell it for. Getting a discount feels good. Getting a discount feels wonderful. It felt like you are, it, it drives you to take action. And when you're networking with clients in your niche, offer them a kickback. Hey, you got a venue? Every time you book us, we're giving you $100, whatever. We're shooting an ad for you for free, whatever. I showed you a beta client connect with a huge marketing company that goes to Chamber of Commerce and do all of that whole Chamber of Commerce marketing for free to get access to their people. That is something you should be stealing and using. This marketing company that is a million dollar marketing company is saying, we go to that chamber and we do their stuff for free to get access to their people. You can also do something like that, especially if it's like a higher end client. Number five is utilize social media. You should be posting and not just pretty pictures. I, if you go to Flash Film Media, I don't post a lot of final products. I post a lot of this is the process. This is what we're doing. This is where we are today. We're filming for this. That is what clients want to see. Every now and then it's a final product, but I deal with a whole lot of NDAs, more than I ever thought I would in this industry. I never thought I would deal with this many NDAs. Um, let's talk about number six. Number six is kind of, it's, it's collaborate with other creatives. 
right? If you are a food photographer, you need to get with a stylist, right? Get with people who work in your industry. They may not have to be direct competitors, but again, I am working with other creatives that do similar things that I do that I can come in and finish it. If you are a drone pilot, get with a, a videographer, get with a photographer that needs drone shots, work with other people. There are, there are other companies that are similar to what you do, who you can add something to what they need. And then they can just call you up and fill up your calendar. You, you may not be able to get the whole bag, but it's good to get some of the bag when you got nothing in your calendar. A lot of, a lot of my contractors and those who work with me started like that. And even though they have their own thing, I still, Hey man, we got this over here. What you want to jump on this? Come on. So very important that you, you, you think like that. Don't, you know, as creatives, we're a little, we, we got big egos. So we don't want to work with people. As a videographer, I'm calling photographers. And do y'all do video? No. Hey, if you got a client that needs video, give me a call. Let's work together. And even though I do photography, sometimes I do photography that's, sometimes I get a job for photography that may be more high end than I want to do. Or maybe something I'm just not interested in doing. And I can say, hey, if I get a job, I'm going to call you. Those partnerships work. Build that relationship. Number seven, make sure you have a strong brand. You need to have a clear brand identity. Your brand, somebody needs to look at your logo and, and spend 30 seconds on your website and know who you are. You're not Coca-Cola and Pepsi. You don't have that luxury of a billion dollars in marketing. And now all I got to do is flash a logo in you and now you thirsty. We ain't there yet. So we need to have a strong brand. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple. Don't don't go off. That's why I say make it make it small. Keep it really simple. Punch them in the throat. This is what we do. This is why you need us. This is the problem we solve. That's it. When you start looking at higher end video production websites, they don't have a lot. It's the guys who don't have the skill set. They got 80 pictures and 200 videos and they because they got 2000 things to list. The really high end video production companies have like five videos on their whole website. It'll be a single landing page and a contact us. It's not a lot. Don't overthink it. Number eight, it's time to invest in marketing. But let me go back and say something. If you don't have step one, which is the niche, if you don't have step two, which is the website, if you don't have step seven, which is building a brand, don't even don't even waste your money. You're better off buying a lottery ticket. Don't start to market until you know exactly who your client is. Because when I say invest in marketing, y'all instantly go to Google ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads. Marketing don't have to be that. Marketing can be um, being on a car dealership's email. Marketing can be, you know, anything depending on your niche. It can be um, being on uh, the, the printout that your dentist gives to the clients. Marketing can be a lot of things that's not pay-per-click. And you can get better results with those if you understand your audience. Number nine is to seek out opportunities to showcase your work. There are opportunities in your area for a lot of different things, not just your work, but maybe the status of your company. Are you a minority? Are you a woman? Are you a single male? Do you have daughters? It's all kind of stuff that you can get awarded and, and recognized for. Sit back and look up those things. There's tons of them. Number 10 is consider offering additional services. Now, let me, let me, let me say that. Let me say that to say this. I personally, in the beginning, before I understood how valuable a niche was, I did headshots. When I understood how valuable a niche was, I got away from headshots, right? Over time, my headshot clients were still calling like, yo, we need headshots. But when I got in the door, when I got back in the door to do more headshots for them, I then pitched my other services. So now I understand that if, if I offer headshots to a corporate client, it may get me in the door to do more. A company like Haverty's, which is a really big furniture company, I got in the door 
doing $300 headshots and then started doing a lot more. So once you identify your ideal client, think about low end products that they could use to get your foot in the door. A $300 headshot has landed me forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars worth of video. I didn't know it at the time, but it was it was it was like a gateway to get into their business. You need to create a product that is like that for your client. So when you market and you and you go after clients, it's a it's a way to create a lead. It's a simple idea to create a lead. But we can open it up because those are my 10 ways or 10 ideas to help you kickstart a slow business in 2023. Just to, I want to start off the year and give you guys some ideas and some directions and things that you may say, I never thought, okay, let me start doing more of that. I'm doing four of them. Let me do 10 of them. Grow your business and not get caught behind in the curve. All right. I'm going to ask you to do what I always ask you to do and be safe. And I'll see you in the next video.